All right, what's up guys? We're back with another one here. So as I'm sure you're aware if you're watching this video, the second Guilty Gear Strive patch, but this is, you know, the first major patch. A really big patch just came out. So everybody's been really excited. You know, everybody's been playing, putting up their favorite clips and all that, that kind of stuff. So as promised for this video, I just want to share what the kind of like the Japanese community is, is talking about what they're saying about the game. So I got a lot of uh, hot takes from a lot of top players that they cover a lot of different characters as well. So we get like a, a kind of a general picture, I think. And I just want to share it with you guys today. If you don't feel like watching the whole thing, though, I'll just say the overall reception is quite positive. I think the overseas reception in the States and everything is positive. The reception here is positive. So good job. Good job, Arxis. You did a good job with this one. But uh, yeah, before we get into it, make sure you guys, you know, help me out. Hit that subscribe button. Is is the 100K dream, is it possible? Can we really do it? I don't know. I need your help if we're going to do it. But anyway, let's get right into it. All right, first up here is Mr. Nage. So Faust. So Faust, of course, is a character from the beginning. You know, there's been a lot of people crying. <coughs> Gengar. Everyone called him Laos. You know, bottom one, the worst character. He got some nice buffs in the last patch. But this buff, or this the buffs this time, Nage says Faust. Wait a second, you, are you, are you buff now? So that, that's his little statement here, but all the, the clips he's been posting, Faust is looking terrifying. So I feel like if you're a player like, um, like Nage, someone who's stuck with the character from the beginning, you're getting rewarded in this patch. You gotta be happy about that. So congrats to Hook as well, I know you're, you're hype. Next up, Churada. The Churada is the Kai God, the one who is known for doing his like famous, uh, you know, wild boy DP style. So he says, uh, you know, after my day one impressions, like just as I imagine it, Kai's really, really, really strong right now. His stun edge and his his uh, charge stun edge, it's like this should be like illegal, man. He's about the same level as like the uh, the original the you know, what was it, Vanilla Soul when Soul was broken. So he's saying Kai's really strong. He's up there. Uh, he also says Dragon install the the chip on Dragon install is crazy, so there might be more chances to use it now. You know, that'd be cool. Dragon Install got buffed two times, but still not really a big factor. So that'd be cool if we see more people using it now. But that's crazy, you know? I think Kizzy, I think Kizzy is not not happy with the Kai change. He said they're not real, but Turad on the other hand, he's saying these, these are crazy. All right, next up, uh, it's not all positive. Here's Moga. Moga's an old Slayer god, but he's playing Giovanna in Strive. He says, oh, Strive. He's like, I updated it and none of my Giovanna combos work anymore. And then he's crying. <laughs> You're going to see the other tweets, but I think... Overall, most players are happy, but I think Giovanna players, day one at least, are a little bit unsure. Here's another one. Here's Consume. Uh, Consume, very famous Potemkin player. He says, man, I played it a little bit, but uh, it's even more lackluster than I thought. So he was not impressed with the Potemkin changes. Potemkin, what did Potemkin even get? I don't know. He got the 6P anti-air buff. But other than that, I think compared to some other characters that are super crazy, I don't know. But Consume, so far, not too impressed. Here's Lord Ogawa. Uh, everyone knows Ogawa. He's the Zato. Uh, I, I wouldn't call him a Zato god anymore, but he's the OG Zato god. He used to be a legend. I think now he's a little bit, a little bit more casual. But his his take so far for Zato, he says Zato has some parts of him that got weak, weakened, but overall he got buffed. So that's good for Zato. Zato is another character that got buffed in the last patch and buffed in this patch. So he might be pretty scary now. Here's Nakamura. Nakamura is a Milia god. He's one of the, you know, OG Milias. Really, really good player here. You know, he's, I was able to look up all the other well, aspects or uh, parts of the character that he wanted to research. He's like, man, she changed so much. It's almost like, what the hell kind of character was Milia up until now? So he made a couple other tweets too about how Milia is now, uh, what's it called? A training mode goddess. He's like, training mode is so much fun. Going to training mode with Milia is really, really fun. So he, he's quite happy with the Milia changes there, which is not good for me, man, because that character is already a threat. This patch is crazy, huh? You think about it, if you've been playing Strive, because every character's already kind of buff. Now they're all buffed even more. Is this game going to be, is this like Kusoge status? All right, here's Eno. Eno is always critical. Eno is like the Japanese Leffen. I don't think I've ever seen this guy say anything positive. He's always got complaints. But here's his ranking, ready? He says, these are the top four uh, things that shock me the most in the new the new version. Number one, Ramathal special moves. So he's talking about Ramathal's uh, Rekka, her Rekka and her Flip. He's like, man, her Rekka is a joke. This is clearly a joke. And he's like, and then off of uh, her flip, she gets positive frames. Her flip is even faster than Food Dark, and it doesn't even shock state. I'm, I'm so, uh, you know, I, I was so surprised by that. So if you don't know, uh, Ram's flip, that overhead, is not an overhead anymore. It's a mid, like Food Dark, but it gives her plus frames. And she doesn't need to do any shock state, so it's a really good move. Number two, he just had Nagoryuki. As in, just, that just says Nagoryuki. He says, even from full screen, it's always Nagoryuki's turn, especially when he has no blood gauge. 
He's a joke. This is a joke. Number three, Soul. He's like, now you have a you have a guessing game whenever you do Bandit Revolver. And even from mid-screen, you get a combo off a counter hit. And then 6S from max range into Revolver, there's no punish. I screamed when I saw it. And then number four, I have no idea what he's talking about. Sorry, we skip number four. He's talking about a Goldfish Savant. I don't know. You figure, if you guys know what Svite Goldfish means, I don't know. You can figure it out. But Heno does not like those. Are those the big three? Soul, Soul got nerfed but buffed. Is it Ram nerfed but buffed. Nagoro Yuki just straight buffed. Are these going to be the big killers in the next version? I got no idea. Here's Sujikawa. Sujikawa is a Jacko player. He's one of the the Jacko players in Japan. He didn't really talk about Jacko other than sharing clips, but his uh, his tweet here says, "Oh man, we can't laugh at Angie anymore." A little sad face. Called him Angie Kun. He's like, "Damn, we can't laugh at Angie players anymore." Angie got some nice buffs. Angie. As an Angie player, I'm excited. I'm definitely watch uh, if, if you want to see Angie in action. Check out the channel. I'm gonna have some Angie videos up soon. Here's Cho. Cho representing May. He's a very good May player. Uh, he says May overall, you know, overall May got weak, but her damage increased every time. On every hit, her damage went up. He's like, okay, Ark, I see what you want me to do with this character. So I guess May really is you. May already killed you in one hit, huh? She got damage buffs. She, she was like one of the highest damage characters in the game. Then they give her damage buffs on top of that. This is this is Guilty Gear Strive, I guess. This is this is what they want. This is Daisuke's vision right here. So here is, again, uh, this is another Giovanna player. So as I said, the Giovanna player seemed a little bit, compared to other ones, maybe not too happy. He's like, man, all of the optimal Giovanna combos I, I trained and grinded out before, they just don't work anymore. And, you know, I'm really, I'm kind of sad. And here's another one. He's like, and man, Giovanna's, uh, the balance change for her 5k is so tough right it's so bad what they did to her i don't know what the hell happened to her 5k i don't know i fought a giovanna online and she's still quite scary the new thing she has that's really messed up is out of her dash she can cancel dash in the dust so it was i was hitting like she was like two character lengths away and just mid, like dash dust and i was getting tagged I was like what the hell is that all right who's next uki 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 soul here man these balances are too crazy right the balance patch is just too crazy and then he says man i'm in training mode right now just laughing my ass off lol this is too much fun lol and then he says one more he's like man i can't stop you know i can't stop theory crafting man i can do there there's so much i can do in this game i'm so satisfied so that that's a great thing to see i think overall that's one of the best parts about balance patch in general you can't even call it a balance patch honestly right it's way more than that but it gave so many more options to everybody i saw a lot of people say how much fun how much fun they have it in training mode which is what's really fun you know being able to explore a game and like figure out the route you want to do so i think that's a great you know i think that's a sign that it's a really good patch where players like uki and we saw uh nakamura earlier just be like man i love being in training mode next up this is saryu this is a, a top ramathal player out here he says uh man ram can do a lot more stuff now in this version but man my hands are dead it looks like i'm gonna have to spend a lot of time in training mode and then he has a little emoji right there. But yeah, another training mode comment, right? Fab is going to say it better than I can. So what, read this next one. This is great. I think this is my favorite one. So here's Fab. He didn't really talk about Potemkin at his all, but he gave this kind of overall view on the patch. It's great. He says, all right, I, I kind of looked at all the changes to all the characters here. I feel like that they are creating a gap between... Uh, so the patch is creating a gap between kind of like the regular player and like the top, top player. The uh, the kind of techniques and comms that only the top players could do are still in the game, but the kind of stuff that, the easy stuff that anybody could do was either made difficult or they added new parts and new routes. At the bottom, it's like, well, even if you add, you know, if you add more, uh, more parts, that just means the top players are gonna do even more bad stuff with it. But hey, it can't be helped. But yeah, I like that, I like that opinion a lot, is that now that there's more difficult you know it, some of the stuff the new stuff they're showing is really really difficult like high execution being able to pull up mid-match only like the real sweats will be able to do so it's like having that option you know i talked about melty blood is really good thing you have that option where it's like if you want to be super sweaty you can do this but if you don't you just want to keep it simple you can do this and they both work but the the option the freedom to decide how you want to play is a really good thing next up is jiro so jiro is the angie i'm sure you're aware of he says man after the patch, oh, An Angie Post patch is really strong. You know, he, he got buffed this much. I think it's safe to say he's going to be like, you know, like a mid, like upper mid. Maybe he'll be like an upper mid character uh, is what I'm thinking here. Fireball is amazing. Ko is amazing, which, you know, is anti-air DP. Far S comboing into, Fu into Fujin is too great. So that that's really good to see. The last Angie buff, remember? I was like, I don't think he got buffed that much. Even Jiro was like, I don't know about the buffs in the last one, but the buffs in this patch 
100% Angie got buffed. Upper mid, 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 he's definitely mid tier now. We we did it, boys. Angie, boys, we, we're mid tier now. We've made it. Next one is Dar. I don't even need to translate. This is great. So Dar from Korea. Dude, someone got angry at me in the last video. I know Dar is Korean. Relax. I know he's Korean. Chill. They were like, Dar is from Korea. He's not a Japanese player. Dar does live in Japan. If you don't know, he lives in Japan for a long time. He, even though he is a... Uh, Korean, he speaks Japanese, he works with the Japanese FTC. So the joke is that, you know, he's Japanese FTC. Again, you know, it's just strong now and also have many, too many potential, right? So she's really, really got a lot of tools and everything. I like this line though. This is Darushelli's character love. This is my work just to give uh, my wife S tier. So he's got to bring her up is what he's saying here. He'll do it too. You know, it's, it's kind of like, you know, I mentioned with, with Nage earlier and then Daru now. It's like the, the, the players that have character love and they stick with the character even when they're weak. They get really good with the weak version. And then when the character gets buffed and then buffed again, now they're going to be monsters. I expect, bo I expect both those characters to start doing a lot of work. Or not characters. Those players to start doing a lot of work uh, from here on out. And I got one more. Last one. We'll round it out with Mr. Omito. So Omito, uh, as you know, he used to be Johnny God. But he's been running Leo. He's not too happy. He says, uh, Leo is uh, kind of like, it's whatever is kind of what he's saying, you know. It's kind of whatever. It's not It's not really that impressive, the uh, the post-patch Leo. It's good, man. Screw that. Leo got nerfed, I think. I think I think on paper, people thought he got buffed, but like in actuality, he got nerfed. Some of the changes. I think he might have lost Oki off of his DP. I don't know, but not as crazy as some other characters, which is good. It's good for me to see. It's good for me to see. But yeah, that's it. Those are all the tweets I have. For now, it's only day one. Uh, as more discussion happens, you know, I'll, I'll probably retouch on this video maybe like a week or two weeks once all the hype is over and people have like a better grasp on how the current state of the game is. But I will just say, as I said at the start of the video, so far everyone seems really happy. I'm really happy. It's really, really fun. It's great. It, it feels like it feels like a brand new game. It feels like these handles us a brand new game. We don't have to buy like Rev 2 or Reload or whatever. Uh, ultimate edition or just like here you go free update a lot of new tools a lot of new fun enjoy so good good stuff this might be the only good arxis patch of all time but yeah that's it let me know share your opinion what do you guys think how are you liking your characters i've only touched ram so far and i still need more work because i think her buffs are more high level so i'm gonna work on that and i'll get back to you but uh yeah feel free leave a comment share how you're enjoying the patch so far and uh you know i i hope this video kind of shed some light. I hope you enjoyed it. Let me know what you think. And like always, thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.